Hey everybody, Logan here, and today we're bringing you some more wrestling video game news. Yeah, with everything that's been going on in the uh, recent release, well, depending on when you're watching it, if you pre-ordered the Deluxe Edition, you got it on the 8th, otherwise you still have to wait two more days as of recording, uh, if you haven't already uh, picked it up. And that's WWE 2K22 for uh, Xbox and PlayStation. So, with that being said, there's been a lot of wrestling going on uh, lately. AEW had its big revolution uh, pay-per-view I went to. All the talk about Cody Rhodes jumping ship from AEW to WWE and then WrestleMania on the way in just a matter of weeks. But we're not here to talk about wrestling. We're here to talk about wrestling video games. So, uh, like I said, this is about WWE 2K as a franchise. And basically what's going on with WWE execs and uh, those at Take 2 and 2K. Uh, yeah, seems like things aren't going so well. I'm going to uh, reference an article in just a moment. But just to let you guys know, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. If you love current and retro gaming content, this is definitely the place to be. Uh, check out our other videos on the channel, but again, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out our Spring Shop link in the description below where you can get all kinds of great Red Bandana Gaming merch. And, well, let me stop jabbering on, and, well, let's get into the news. Welcome to Red Bandana Gaming, the channel where Logan So this is kind of funny. I don't think I've ever uh, referenced a wrestling website uh, while looking up video game news on this channel. But uh, yeah, the headline comes from a ringside, uh, sorry, it, it comes from ringside news. I was going to say uh, ringside seats. I don't know why. So the, the article is titled, WWE may be ending relationship with 2K games. And as of recording, this article hit two days ago, which was a day before the uh, early release of WWE 2K22. Now, I will be bringing you a video in the next couple days uh, with my impressions and reactions to WWE 2K22. I did pick it up on the Xbox Series X. Uh, I didn't feel that it would be uh, serve this game any justice if I just did the initial reactions kind of video like I normally do where I pop it in, install it for the first time, and then play it blindly without knowing anything. This, this, game, this game definitely, as its tagline or whatever you want to call it, does hit differently. The, the character models are so much better. Everything's more detailed. The gameplay is a little different. It feels like it's kind of gone retro with a new, um, I guess, flair to it. Ha! Okay. But uh, we're, we're not going to get into that. I will bring you more uh, if you haven't seen it already by the time this is up. I did post a recent short, and I will be posting more uh, about uh, WWE uh, 2K22 wrestler entrances. So you can check that out. The first one's on Scott Hall. Uh, but I will be putting together something a little more, uh, I guess you can say, uh, conclusive on my opinion. And that will be out within the next day or so. Depending on when you're watching, it might already be up. But let me stop gibbering on about that. Uh, if you're watching this, you do care. So, yeah, this doesn't bode well. This does not bode well for uh, 2K or Take Two uh, at all, and the biggest shock is at the end of the article. It's not that long of an article. Who the other company they're looking at partnering with, and it just it, it's it, it brings back memories of the late uh, of the early 2000s, and you'll see. So the article reads. 
Uh, WWE has been heavily promoting the upcoming release of WWE 2K22 video game. Gamers have had to wait a couple of years for release. WWE 2K20 was an unmitigated disaster that nearly killed the series completely. That is completely true. Uh, I had gameplay footage on the channel, but WWE, Fox, and USA Network all hit me with copyright, so I took it down. If you want to see uh, the video that I did on that, it is available on uh, redbandanagaming.com under our wrestling tab. 2K Games claimed to have fully revamped the game's engine. New modes and features were added. This is true. Uh, many gamers and wrestling fans were optimistic that the company had finally got right. This, you can tell, whoever's writing it has not had a chance to play the game. Now, I can confirm a lot of this has changed. and It's, it's definitely for the best. And because of the release of this game, I think it's all going to depend on the sales of the game. The reviews... I haven't seen any official reviews, but coming from me, I'm going to tell you it's already good. So, um, yeah, but like I said in the next video, I'll go over more into it. WWE 2K20 has been viewed as a make or break title. Yes, it has in the series. If the game wasn't vastly improved, it would make sense for WWE to look at other developers to shop around their valuable license. It appears that may be the case according to the latest from Fightful Select. Frightful Select uh, brings a lot of in-depth wrestling uh, industry news. So, if you want me to give you my opinion on them, uh, they've been pretty solid, but not always. They don't always get everything right. But that's you know, neither do any of us. But uh, it's pretty solid. The relationship between WWE and Take Two Interactive, the parent company of 2K Sports, may be coming to an end and it could result in WWE moving their games to a competing publisher for the first time ever. I I have very high hopes for 2K22. I think it's a good game so far. Uh, it's not without its issues, but the company that they're looking to go to might knock your socks off. Multiple sources have stated that WWE has preliminary has had preliminary discussions with Electronic Arts EA about bringing the WWE game sign over to one of the top gaming publishers in the world. Ooh. Viewed... Uh, okay, that's pretty much the same thing. WWE is said to be extremely frustrated with the reception of recent video games developed by 2K and parent company Take-Two Interactive uh, as copyright strikes and takedowns generally indicate a disaster of a release. Take-Two has been doing just that. This could be a final straw for WWE's relationship with Take-Two games. Now, that is one thing you will notice about my uh, upcoming footage. There is no music and no live action footage because, like I said with uh, 2022, copyright strikes up the wazoo. And... Uh, if they're doing this over early footage, it's it isn't a good thing. But the fact that I can say I've played the game, um, and now what Xbox has done, and I'm pretty sure PlayStation does the same thing because it's built into the code. When you do a screenshot, uh, sorry, a uh, 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 capture footage using your console, it will not capture any of the music. My first two uh, videos, it did no sound whatsoever. So I'm wondering if that's just going to be a thing, but my second ones, uh, second and third uh, sets all have sound, just no music. So it makes me wonder if it's just because of the copyright music or if it has something to do with the game itself. But that's, that, that's, that's pretty much it. That's all it says. And that makes me worry because... The game's pretty good, but with the last two, uh, what was that mess that came out with the deformed wrestlers? I had it, and it's just terrible. I still have it, just sitting on the shelf. Can't even remember what it was called. I don't even remember if I did a video on it or not. Uh, but 2K22 was was a mess. Uh, sorry, 2K20 was a mess. 2K22 is not a mess. 2K22, uh, I like it quite a bit. I think it's pretty good. Uh, right now, I've done a number of regular matches to see 
basically the animations and how the characters, the the different wrestlers. I've used Hulk Hogan. I've used um, Scott Hall. I've used uh, who else? Um, uh, Robert Roode. I, I played with a, a number of the the characters. WCW and former TNA guys mainly. Uh, and the game plays very, very well. The roster is a little lackluster, and that's mainly because I'm I'm not an avid or you know yeah I'm just gonna say it I'm not an avid watcher of WWE, not in their current state. Uh, I'm pro AEW. I watch AEW. I watch Impact, and I watch NWA. Uh, I go to AEW live events, and it's funny how many. Former AEW, I mean former WWE guys who are now in AEW are still on the roster, but we know how that works in, in games because rosters are finalized months ahead of time. There have been a few that they have taken out, but it was within enough time of their release to the release of the game where they were able to take them out because you have uh, people like uh, Keith Lee and Kyle O'Reilly still in the game and uh, uh, Swerve, they're all in the game and they've recently signed with AEW. So that's another thing, but I think that's okay. The, another thing that they are doing, just like previous iterations, you do have uh, a season pass to get more DLC wrestlers that include uh, Eli Drake, AKA LA Knight, I hate that name, and others. So you do have that, and then that'll give you access to all the DLC packs. That's $39.99 on whatever console. And if you buy the Deluxe Digital, it's called the NWO for Life Edition, which if you want it physical, you have no access to that. But they recently put up a, an individual bonus pack with no price, and it says not available, of just the NWO content. So what I'm thinking is they're just going to add that uh, after it comes out, a price to it, and you'll be able to buy it individually, which I will. Because one thing you will notice if you buy the game, no NWO content without that. No NWO music. Yeah, Kevin Nash has just NWO on one, his, uh, one of his attires. Where there's a Diesel and a Kevin Nash takes up two different character spots instead of, um, I, I guess you can say, alternate attires. But again, I'll get more into that once I cover the game in just a matter of a couple days. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video, drop your opinions about this uh, <laughs> this little bit of speculation, news, rumor, whatever you want to call it, in the comments below. Do you think it's funny that they're looking at EA, the people that when WCW lost the THQ license, when WWE picked it up and created uh, WrestleMania 2000 No Mercy, they went to EA and EA made mayhem and backstage assault how funny is that how how the turntables okay you know you know thank you guys so much for watching again hit that subscribe button hit that like button share this video head on over to redbandanagaming.com like i said that aew revolution footage will be up there uh and some more footage from 2k22 will be up on the website soon so make sure you check it out like we always say be legendary thanks again